Okay, today we're looking specifically at entry. How do we enter the market, keep the risk low? What factors should we be aware of? What tools can we use to assist our decision making? Where do we set our profit targets? And how do we make sure we protect ourselves from the unknown? We're gonna be teaching you this right here, right now. Okay, so I'm using smart charts today. I'm using a no strategy screen. So I'm looking at one of the major currency pairs in the market. First reason I'm doing that is because I want something which has some decent volume, number one, and volatility, number two. I also wanna make sure the spread is as tight as possible. So the major currency pairs, such as the Euro dollar, Sterling, Dollar Yen, Dollar Swiss, Kiwi and Aussie dollar, they're your majors. We wanna make sure we're trading those and those alone starting off because they're the ones which will have the tightest spread. That means the smallest distance between the bid and the offer price, the price at which you can buy and sell that currency pair for. Clearly, if the distance between that bid and offer spread is very wide, you'll be paying a lot more to trade that instrument. So we wanna make sure we're using something which has got a nice tight spread. Euro dollar certainly ticks that box more than any other currency pair. So if you look at my screen right now, you'll see how I have the screen set up. Now this is kind of interesting for two or three reasons. First of all, you'll see we've had, as we look at the screen, a decent rally up through the major moving averages. <clears throat> Let me just tell you what those major moving averages are so you can set up your screen exactly the same. If I click on my indicator list, that's top right hand side of this chart, you'll see the active indicators that I have on my screen right now. This is how I've set my game up. <clears throat> I'm looking at two exponential moving averages. There'll be a 50 period exponential moving average, which I've colored in red, and a 200 period moving average, which I've colored in green. Then I'm showing you the average true range, that's the ATR indicator. Probably the most powerful, little known, but certainly the most important indicator in the whole of the currency markets. Trading without the average true range is kind of crazy because it shows you the amount of price range movement, it shows you the amount of pressure in either the long or the short direction. We've got to make sure that we're aware of the ATR because that tells us where the pressure in the market is and where it's not. It's all about volatility. Then we're looking at the relative strength index and then we're looking at MACD, that's the moving average convergence divergence indicator or otherwise known as the MACD. So they're the five things I'm putting on my chart to assist in my decision making. So I'll remove that from my screen now. We'll get back to the chart. Let's have a look at what we're looking at. Well, first of all, we've seen a rally up then we've seen the market fall, and now we're seeing the market bounce off that 50 period moving average, just as it's done before. Notice it did it a few hours back, or should I say a few days back. This is the one hour chart. If we look at the right hand side of the screen up here, we know that every bar here is equivalent to 60 minutes in length, or one hour. So we'll notice the price has bounced off the 50 period moving average, had a rally, and then it's pulled back. Now, why else is this significant? Well, the price has also pulled that 50 period moving average through the 200 period moving average, which means if we were looking to enter this market, and let me give you an indication of where this might not be a bad idea. So let's go to channels and parallel channel, and I'm gonna stick my little channel from this range here. So very much there. Now, why do I like that? Well, for two reasons. Number one, price has now regressed back to these moving averages. It seems to have a good bounce off the 50 period moving average from before. That's important. Then I'm gonna draw a line for my target price. So for here, we're gonna take a simple trend line, make it a horizontal line, and I'm gonna stick that across here. So they, this is my target. Now, with all things trading, we want to make sure that we've got nothing in front of us. In other words, when we're, if, if this is a buy trade, we want to make sure it's the road ahead is very clear. We want to make sure there's plenty of noise behind us. The reason we want plenty of noise behind us is that's the protective stop loss. We want plenty of room ahead to make sure that price can easily run and fill the void. So this would be the, the profit target. If you want me to measure that, I can take a measuring tool and do a simple price range, which suggests that between here and here, I have a price range of about 25 pips. Uh, I would look to put my stop loss below this moving average line. So uh, my stop loss I'm gonna draw in for you would be, uh, if we take a trend line and a horizontal line here, would be just underneath this 50 period moving average. You can see how much that 50 period moving average has uh, protected the price from falling further previously. 
And so we've got the basics of our trade setup. We're looking for an entry as it breaks over the top of this channel line here, but I need to know a little bit more than that. This comes in, this is where I jump into my indicators where it really helps out. So first of all, let's take a look at the MACD. Great entry indicator, really assists in the decision. I'm gonna increase this so we can see it. So what we're looking for here is this red line to break up through the dotted line. That gives us an indication that buyers are now more in control than sellers. That's an indication that will assist in the entry. Now we wanna be entering on small bars. So if the bar range is certainly very large as we enter, it might indicate that the entry itself is not particularly elegant. We want small bars on the entry. We then want the bars to expand up to the top of this price range, which gives us our profit target. So right now we haven't got the entry signal, but what we have got is we've got a series of indicators pointing us in the right direction. We've got our trade over here, so we've got nothing, we've got nothing ahead of us, a nice clean space ahead, lots of noise behind the 50 and the 200 period moving average. We've got the average true range, if I now change my mouse to crosshair, I can see what the range of this currency is, and you can see that the range of the euro dollar right now is about eight pips. So if you look on that, it's 0 0.008, so that's eight pips of movement. That's what we expect this to move around. That means that my stop loss needs to be a buffer of at least eight pips away from my entry price. So if my entry was, for example, at uh, 1086, so 1086, then my stop loss needs to be at least south of that, which would be uh, 105 is fine. Where that, where that 105 is would be completely acceptable. That means it's at least eight pips away. So I'm comfortable that my stop loss would be fine on this blue level here. My entry would be here and my profit target would be here. So what I'm looking for, I'm using the average true range to tell us how much my buffer should be away from my my, from my entry price to my stop loss. As I see the ATR moving up, as it started to do, notice how volatility has been dropping steadily hour by hour on the euro dollar. It's starting to turn around, starting to pick up. That's because we are now in what we call double crossover session. That means you've got New York and London trading at the same time. You've got New York traders and London traders trading simultaneously. That indicates about 60% of the market is in play which means that should this indicator now pick up and break this red line up through the dotted line. Now let's look at the next indicator. We're looking at RSI, which is the relative strength index. We would want to see that start to move up. As that moves up, as the MACD moves up, as volatility moves up, we've got the traffic lights of all three indicators pointing us in the right direction. We've got plenty of noise behind us, which is exactly what we want, and we've got a nice free run above. That is pretty much how you'd set up your perfect trade, meaning you've got a very strong indication of signal as you enter in, you've got a perfect place to put your stop loss, and you've got a perfect place to put your profit target. So if I set that up right now, I literally hit the green button, You'll see the screen then goes green, indicating to you as a trader I am looking at going long. I click that button and all I now do is I line up my target lines, my take profit, which would now goes to here. I put my stop loss consistent with my lines here and I put my entry just about here, which means I'm looking to make uh, 29 pips of profit. Uh, I'm looking to risk 12 pips, which means I'm looking at making a profit target of 4,691. I'm risking 1,999 to do it. I've at least got nearly a two, well, at least a two to one risk reward. I'm happy with that. Trade looks great. It's all lined up. My expiry on this position, it says no expiry. Uh, I'm happy to run this position until the end of the day. So I'm gonna click end of day. That means my position has now got an expiry until the end of the day. You'll see those dotted lines now appear on the chart, which says if it doesn't, happen within this time frame of reference, then I'll remove the trade from the table. Um, we are risking 2%, very happy. I can tag this if I wish to put Greg's example. So when I look at this uh, in, later, in later videos, we can pluck it out. So I'll just put Greg's example one, and then I hit the green button and that trade is then logged. And that's pretty much how you do it. And instead of doing this manually by adding all the indicators, trying to make a decision of where my profit target should be, when I should enter, 
where my stop loss should be, and then manually checking against all those indicators like I just did on the euro dollar. In this case, I really need not add all the indicators and do the work myself because all of these indicators, the cross-referencing of all these indicators, the uh, confirmation of the sing uh, signal is built into the strategy itself. So take a look, for example, at the 180 phase change. Let's take the first strategy or the first currency at the top of the list. And this is the Australian dollar against the Canadian dollar. I don't need really any strategy. I don't need any indicators on this screen. I simply grab my grab tool, take one look at it. I see there is a blue arrow pointing down, which says you should be selling this currency pair. After that, all I really need to do is press the button, which is glowing. That then gives me the parameters of this trade. It tells me what the most important three things, where I should place my stop loss, where I should place my sell entry, and thirdly, of course, where I should take my profit. Now, I can amend those if I want to, but if I trust what the platform is telling me, which in this instance I certainly do, I then hit the green button and that trade and that order is placed in the platform and it is ready to trigger when the price hits that price target. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit like. If you haven't subscribed to this channel already, make sure you do that. I'll be sending you weekly videos of my trading tips, strategies, and all and everything in between. Until then, I look forward to seeing you on another trading video. Beautiful.